Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of McClarty Films. Hope you're doing well today. It's a uh, President's Day and it's snowing out or it's snowy outside. And up here in the Pacific Northwest, we've been snowed in for a few days. And I hear the storm spreading all the way down to Texas. But today I have a video for you about using Google Docs. And this is a new function that I just started using. And it's basically the uh, voice to text transcription that um, you can do in Google Docs. And what was surprising to me was that it supports like all these different languages, which at this point, even the Google Pixel phone doesn't do on the uh, voice recording app, voice to text, but in the Google Docs, it does support all these different languages. So for practicing your language, um, it's a great way to test your pronunciation and to do your daily journal, but without actually having to write it. And so you get to practice speaking and writing at the same time with the help of the computer. So, I'm going to demonstrate really quick just how I I would do it. I'm doing it in Spanish and in Chinese now. And um, let me share my screen with you. Uh, where is it? Chinese Daily. Okay. All right. So this is a Google Doc. And I titled it Chinese Daily 100. So that's for uh, 100 words a day. I'm going to try and write. Um, just a really quick, uh, like it's about like a paragraph every day just to practice writing and it also helps producing the language or, you know, speaking and writing go hand in hand together. So first of all, I'm going to go into the tools and go down here to voice typing, control shift S or just click on this. And then here you have all the languages. Check that out. Boom. Isn't that incredible? So if we go down to Chinese, where is it? Yeah, this is going to be <laughs> really cool to try out. Um, Chinese, that's uh, for mainland China. And you have Taiwan and Hong Kong. So it also separates the different kinds of Chinese. And now once I start this, it's going to transcribe every single word I say in Chinese um, into uh, Hanzi, in the Chinese characters. So hopefully my pronunciation is good enough to, uh, and, and Google is accurate enough to transcribe what I'm saying. I haven't been speaking Chinese in a while, so forgive me for the poor pronunciation. Uh, let me think, what am I going to talk about today? 大家好,我叫卡尔, period. 今天 在外面下大雪，天气很冷，但是天气预报说明天不下雪，出太阳。所以你们可以看，它不是百分之百准确，但是总的来说。他听写非常棒，但是后面我还得进去呃手动的修呃处理。好吧，然后我就是自由发挥，我不会说的很慢，我就呃自然的速度说话。呃，这个是一个新的功能。其实不知道是新的功能，但是对我来说，是我我最近发现这个功能，就是呃，谷歌支持很多不同的语言，它可以语语音呃写字，不用不用打字，它就是自动的呃帮你写下来。呃，这个视频我不想拍的很久，就是给你看大概怎么样，让你自己呃去玩啊，让你自己去玩。好吧，就就说就说到这里，呃，祝你们大家一个一个，祝祝大家新年快乐，牛年大吉。祝你们各位越来越牛，今天牛起来。
how to dot delete. So then I click the mic and it turns off and that's it. And I'll just show you um, how easily if I wanted to just switch into English. So, so now I'm doing my journal and I'm gonna switch back into Eng American English. Hey guys, today is my first day testing out the voice to text function of Google Docs. Period. So the punctuation works using English. I'm not sure how to do it in Chinese yet. Period. This is a very cool feature and it allows you to, if you get tired using your hands to type, or if you just want to practice your pronunciation in a foreign language so that you can see uh, how accurate you're speaking and if the computer can understand your natural language. Period. And then lastly, I'm gonna show you the word count function because that's something that I've been trying to do just to see if I can type 100 words per day um, in the language that I'm studying period. Well, that's a lot of pressure to speak accurately <laughs> without run on sentences. But anyway, so you can see, um, let me, let me close this. So I'm going to look at my how So I repeated myself. Uh, and then you can correct, you know, edit your type. We'll do a car. Okay, so I'm not going to correct it, but you can see the accuracy is pretty good. And so now I'm going to go into my word count. I'm just going to select the text and go into tools, word count. And you can see I did um, 126, I think, 520, or maybe not, maybe two. I'm not sure. And you know, it. It um, characters and words in Chinese is kind of interesting because you have word count, words, characters. So I'm not sure if it can distinguish the characters from the words. I guess it can. Anyways, that's a cool, cool thing. You can, you can play with it. And I hope someone found this useful. I was really excited to find out about it. And you can try with whatever language you're, you're studying. And thank you for watching. And if you're interested in studying languages, uh, camera stuff or you know techie vr stuff that's that's what i'm all about so i will see you next time thanks for tuning in peace